and gang one more comment regarding oil right so uh, let me let me let me tell you what i see going on right now regarding sanctions on russia oil and gas and all this jazz right so western countries have come out and said yes we're gonna stop buying gas and oil from russia slowly over time but they've cut off a lot stop buying energy from russia and we're going to try to stop buying commodities from russia we're just going to sanction everything russia right and at some point they're going to sanction russia food uh food supplies right so they're sanctioning russian energy for now let's talk about the energy for now right let's talk about oil for now right so what's happening is with all these oil and gas uh resources that russia has they're pumping they're not they're, they're not going to just and they can't just close the tab oh we don't have that many buyers we're just going to close it no they're pumping at a certain rate and the excess stuff they put in storage right whatever else is coming out they have to sell now europe is saying no they close north stream one they're saying no we're not going to buy your energy we're not going to buy your energy meanwhile industry in western europe is saying oh, fuck what are you guys insane you're going to collapse our industries bosch has already come out and said this is a disaster this is bosch a german company that has four hundred fifty thousand employees right this is a gigantic company bosch germany is one of germany's largest companies if not the largest company as far as i know it's it's, it's, it's got to be in the top five at least right four hundred fifty thousand employees if i recall correctly right they have come out and said german government stop uh, now that the german government is planning on stopping buying energy from german uh, from russia it's going to destroy our industry right that's what they've come out and said so that's going to happen to all western european industries right so energy prices there are going to go through the roof because they just cut off their main supply right meanwhile russia has come out and said they're willing to sell energy to any country that wants to buy at a discount right so all of a sudden there's market discrepancy here market there, there's arbit room for arbitration if you want to think about it right because this country is selling something that this region wants but the politicians in this region are preventing industry from this region from getting this resource and these resources the country that's providing these resources is saying well we can't ship it there we need to sell it because we're pumping it and our reserves are getting full unless we build a ton more reserves a storage space we need to get rid of this now that we need to get rid of this we've got an oversupply so we're going to sell it at a discount all these other countries that need energy that are not supporting the sanctions on russia are saying hell we'll buy it right bring it on over bring it on over right so let's assume right now oil is trading at 100 110 dollars let's say 100 right europe is paying 110 120 russia is willing to sell it to any friendly countries that want to buy at 80. <laughs> right so these countries that have industry and we're going to get a lot more industry because the industry in european countries western countries is going to close their doors and go to countries where they're going to get cheap oil cheap energy why in the world would you pay 110 dollars per barrel when you can get it for 80 dollars per barrel right and that that's oil but you can extrapolate that to energy right germany no nuclear reactors anymore <laughs> it's just crazy <laughs> windmills <laughs> people holding up solar panels <laughs> bosch employees we need more energy we need more energy <laughs> it's, it's the most stupid thing you ever heard in your life right meanwhile these it these countries are going to get energy at a discount so what's that's going to do is it's going to create a bipolar world to a certain degree not politically but in terms of energy costs right well how is that going to play out how's that going to play out what it's going to do is going to completely collapse the economy in the western world so energy requirement for energy is going to decrease that in turn is going to put pressure on the price of oil and gas a lot of people are predicting the opposite a lot of people are predicting that oil is going to go through the roof to 200 to 300. i think we're about to see a huge collapse of the economy and when the economy collapses you're going to see energy prices crumble 
Okay, that's one of the reasons we're seeing metal prices crumble. Look at Alcoa. Alcoa peaked at $98 a share. Right now, in a matter of a month and a half, Alcoa price went down to 54. That's aluminum, right? Aluminum is one of the main uh, metals used in industry, right? That's a that's a trigger. That's a that's foreshadowing something if things play out that way. So <laughs> all the stuff that's happening there's multiple variables uh, involved in the game and any single variable can all all of a sudden become a dominant force in the whole market and completely collapse uh, the economy or do the reverse and shoot up prices for certain commodities right so it's being manipulated up the yin yang it's enron but multiplied by a factor of a hundred thousand okay it's crazy